I'm Patrick with Just Ponics, and today I want to talk to you about installing our siphon into your vertical microgreen grow. Yep. First, you'll need to drill a 7 8 inch hole. Take your male and your female adapter plus the two O-rings and install it into the hole. Take the male, put an O-ring under, push it down on the bottom side, put another O-ring and screw it in tight. Once you have that screwed in, you can install the siphon with the inlet. And once you place it on top, take your hose with a half inch inner diameter and connect it to the barb. On the bottom of the siphon, you want to take a 10 inch piece of PVC, which is the minimum height that you need between each tray and push it into the drain. That piece is connected to a 90 degree elbow. Alternatively, you can make the pipe a little more flexible. You connect the half inch pipe to a hose that has a three quarter inch inner diameter. You can stick it in here, have your elbow. Now this can bend. Now to install the siphon without the inlet, it's very simple. You can just place it on top after you've installed the connectors. That's it. After you have installed the siphons into your vertical microgreen grow and you have your reservoir tank set up with the pump, you can now figure out how long you should keep the pump running before you shut it off. First, turn on your pump, allow the top grow tray to fill until the siphon starts. Once the siphon starts, wait 30 seconds to one minute after that and then shut off the pump. That amount of time is how long you should keep on the pump before you turn it off. So this siphon is calibrated to start at one inch, but if you want it to start higher, for example, at one and a half inch, you can take the siphon off, take the half inch insert, which would raise the inner pipe, and then place the siphon back on. Now the siphon will start at one and a half inches. 